Good evening. Welcome to my weekly live. How are you all? Hope you have been having a good week. Just lower my chair slightly. Oh, I've just had the fastest tidy up ever of my craft room. <laughs> like, uh, I was designing some card class um some class cards and my desk was covered i literally could not see my desk um so the good news is i can now see my desk and i'm here kirsty's in the caravan so david's lovely oh has it been beautiful it's been beautiful weather here today hello um it has been gorgeous 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 sunny weather so nice so nice. Um, got some washing hung out on the line, all the exciting stuff, right? Um, hello, hello. Louise is finding my pansies. Oh, you've been making Orchid Oasis ones. Fabulous. Kathleen says, too hot here. Oof, yes. At least you, you've air con, haven't you? It does feel strange while it's light outside. I've, yeah, it feels a bit odd, doesn't it? It will come a bit dark pretty quick. Rachel's still pattern cutting. Hello again. Mm. Okay, so this evening I thought we would play with um, some memory and more cards. So I thought I would show these to you and then make a few quick-ish cards with the memory and more cards so I thought that would be kind of fun so let's get the desk view set up for you as I say I literally I've got a hot cup of tea but I was clearing my desk away moments before coming on live with you all otherwise we wouldn't have been able to craft um sadly because he says sadly overcast and misty but here it all says, oh, hopefully the sun will come out for you then. Um, let's move you in a little closer. Okay, hopefully we can see this okay. So these are the memories and more cards. Beautiful. Um, Sandy's watching from the lake under a Oh, that sounds ideal. I mean, it would be better if it wasn't freezing cold in May hey for you but snuggly under the blanket so these are today is the day memory and more cards so if you have missed these they are lurking here um, on page 136 of the catalogue um, and they're displayed a little on 115 so they are here too so you get an idea of kind of the colors and things that are in these um memories and more obviously these images here are these stamps um but you get an idea of the colors uh, not been to the beach today no not been to the beach today it's um yeah been had friends over yesterday um for barbecue food and so I had a really chilled day yesterday it was lovely really lovely a long overdue catch up um so that was wonderful um so let's quickly flick through these they're not you don't get two of each you just get one of each so go confidently in the direction of your dreams um it always seems impossible until it's done and then there's sort of there's a grey pattern, the same checked in the peachy colour. Um, there's some black and whites in here. We've got black and whites. There's a lovely kind of frame here. That's nice. Life is short and it's up to you to make it sweet. Love that sentiment um so you've got top tens that you can list out but these kind of 
patterns here. Every day is an adventure. These are ideal for memory keeping, but lovely for card making too. Old fashioned telephone. Who remembers those? <laughs> um, if I showed that to Joshua, he'd be like, what? What is that? Don't get it. I mean, so yeah, it's um, a bit retro. Arrows, more of those checks. So there's an alphabet high on the back and more of those checks. Arrows, so very happy. Love that one. Love those sentiment ones. Um, flowers. <laughs> Lizzie says such sore fingers. Dial phones, excellent. <laughs> uh little flowers on the black black piece there um leaves today is a good day to smile they're nice too that's got days of the week on you possibly can't see that it's tiny um more of those checks but in different colors oh stripes Everything is possible, even the impossible. And the quote is Mary Poppins. Love that. Got some plusy, kind of plus and dots. Hello, sweet pea. That's a nice baby card, isn't it? Love everything about you. Make today matter. Nice patterns on the back of that as well. Nice. And then some triangle bits and remember with the pencils so that is those and then we have got stickers sticker 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 so there's four sticker sheets so these are all peel off adhesive so you've got florals the big hello little like lists and tickets and stuff um best friend hello celebrate black and white stripes and then these tabs and some numbers I mean they're great for like birthday numbers aren't they if you're reaching for um not just special birthdays but just numbers or you could use them obviously for kind of um weekly journaling um so you've got the 52 weeks of the year but good for other things um and then Hey Pat, hello, hello, Deborah and Donna joining, greetings, um, so we've got some black and white sentiments on the back here, staycation, we've got nature, mountains, beach, weather, snow, so you could chop those out um, if you wanted to, today is your day, love that on the black, that's gorgeous, you could just Put some pops of flowers. I might hang on to that one. Today, tomorrow, paper clips, flowers. So these are all the memories and more. So they measure six by four inches. And these little ones measure three by four. So they're half the size of those. Habit tracker, but nice kind of colours on the back there. Um, I love those. Dream, create, inspire. I like those as well. Black and white stripes. More dial-up telephones. Miniatures. <laughs> uh, evening, Alison. Hey, Louise. How are you? Um, Grey with white dots. This one I saw where oh God, this is like snap, isn't it? Gosh, the there was a a little one of those, wasn't it, on one of the other sides of these. I'm not going to try and find it now, but there was um, green. That's lovely. Surround yourself with people who push you to be your best self. Love that. Uh, little 
sprigs, stripes. Who doesn't love a stripe? <laughs> ah, it's been a while. Having a Sunday in the craft room. Perfect. Well deserved. Goals. You could just put a flower or something over that and have that as a nice background, couldn't we? Um, what do we think? Do you like these? Got black and white. Who's purchased these already? You can't really see all of them in the catalogue. Tricky to see, isn't it? Tricky to see them all. So I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to get them because then I can really see and use them. That's gorgeous. That is beautiful. Love that. Pop that to one side too. Look, it goes with the so very happy. I feel like they could be friends. <laughs> uh, happy Sunday, Jen. Yeah, I hope you are doing it slowly. You need to take care, take it easy. Um, this one is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Little green arrows. More stitching. That's a cool kind of teacher thank you. Maybe like um scrapbook page, first day of school kind of thing. Um, the story pencils. I like both of those. That's a tricky decision, isn't it? You have to get two packs. Do more of what makes you happy. Happiness blooms from within. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. That wouldn't take much to pop that, make that into a little card, would it? Um, this one's lovely. I'd quite like that in a top. Quite like that in a fabric print. <laughs> Black and white. The secret to getting ahead is getting started. Too true. Too true. Um, and uh adventure seeker and then document dates and then the flowers on the back like all of those they're nice so let's have a little um think about what we might put with these mm. i have this set out on my desk because i made a card for a um, the Global Design Project Challenge, which is going out on my blog tomorrow. So this one is still on my desk. And I thought these cute little flowers here could accent with some leaves on these just to pop a few extra bits and bobs on here, maybe. Um, the other one that I was thinking about was this one, the True Beauty. So I thought this little flower here or some of this this bigger flower could be nice just as like an accent to some of these cups. So they were the two stamp sets that I pulled out. Morning, lovely. Morning, Andrea. Um, let's pick out some cards that we're going to use and then we'll get stamping. So, um, I like that. I'm going to maybe I'm going to use the, that one and have a pop of colour on that. That's so nice. That one. What about that wreath one? That feels like ready to go, doesn't it? I feel like we could make quite a few, actually. I feel like they would not be. These could be quite quick. Hello, love you. That could be handy. Uh, let's do, let's pop that to, stickers to one side so I don't lose them. That's gorgeous as well. Love that one. Right. Oh my goodness. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I like that as well. 
Those black and whites are gorgeous. Oh my goodness, too much choice, too much choice. <laughs> oh, Sandy, we're coming to visit. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm coming. I've missed half the chat, but I'm coming. <laughs> oh, I feel like um, some travels could be fun. Right, let me stamp out some flowers. Let's pull in. I think I'm going to start with this one. The only thing with this is they are quite big. This one is smaller. I feel like this could be nice mm, on here. Um, let's try that to start with and then we'll see where we go so <laughs> yes please please do <laughs> uh, uh, okay so we've got some daffodil and coral uh, and my gibbers See first ink of this flower. Let's try it in just daffodil. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Let's add. So this is daubers with calypso coral. Let's just see the difference. Nice. Um, what greens do we think that is that garden green do we think garden green and mint macaron maybe or soft succulent what do we reckon hey laurel um oh, my mint macaron needs ink yeah, that's mint macaron, isn't it? Let's let's grab some garden green. And evening, Gillian. Oh, absolutely fine. Not late at all. We've just kind of gone through the memories and more cards. So. So this set does have dyes. Um, let me just see if I can find them. Had to step away. It's called True Beauty, Jen. It's this one. It's with the Awash with. Is it Awash with Beauty stamp set? Um. So there is dies with this. That's all cut out. That flower. Oh, there. Yeah, that flower. Those leaves, and there's some sprigs in here as well. I've got sprigs as well. Let's see. Uh, uh, if I just run them through. Mm. And my die machine's over the back here, so I'm just going to do this away from the screen for a moment just save me lifting um, I'll bring them back so we've got flower leaves and 
and this sprig that's going to be a great Christmas sprig isn't it very cool Hey Janet, hey Lisa. I'm going to give this a little squish and I'll just tuck that. Let's put some blending onto that sprig. So, shall we have garden green? Oh, these dyes also, I should say. The, although these dyes are fabulous, look what out that comes with it as well. Oh, beautiful. So that whole background piece comes with that die set. So pretty. Um, So we'll have that sprig. That's garden green. And we can have that under there. So very happy. And a cute flower. So sweet. Right. Um, let's pop. What else have we got? Hmm. This is cute little, this is one of the stickers. Let's pop that under there because it just adds a little bit of texture and then we can maybe pop that up on. I love playing around with these memories and more cards. You can just create can't you? you can just pick out some colors and have a little play right should we pop that up on something um a piece of black maybe just a layer layer of black <laughs> so that i need that background dye that background dye is so cool I'm gonna actually I'm gonna cut one out I think so ribbon or twine you are so right there right, let me do do these an eighth of an inch bigger than the card so three and one eighth by four and one eighth so that we've got that popping up on there and then I think I've got all oh, got a little bit of baker's twine left in the grey which is ideal um, I can pop that under there. And, um, let's see if we can stick that, that sprig can just stick on that glue dot. And glue dot that onto here. Now, oh, wrong side. I meant to do the top. It doesn't really matter. I meant to do the top so that I can sort of stick it behind the flower and see where it's placed before I then put it onto the card. That's nice. And then let's do um, the background. Sandy said, yes, that would be brilliant. I haven't put my class outfit. We could do a June one. Who's up for a memories and more class in June? Using this, using this pack. So cool. Right, love that. So pretty. Um, okay, so uh, I was gonna die cut this. Um, 
background because we can have that behind on there. So I'm thinking just white on white. I know that's a bit predictable, but it does give a bit of texture just to um, go behind. So I'm just going to run that through. This is like a lattice kind of trellis. Um, maybe we should combine it with this A Wash With Beauty set, hey? It seems to be um, going quite well together. Right, let me pop that on there. Oh, that's crap nice. So this leaves you with all the morning, Joan, 6 a.m. Oh, I hope you've got coffee. Mm. I'm on a cup of tea. Look, this is just popping out. It's cut beautifully. No, I am putting that into the bin. I know, and I do know that those those diamonds could do something, but not tonight. <laughs> Let's. I'm gonna snip away the edges. I think I want this a bit more. Um. Less framed, I think, is probably the. Um, well, I thought I did, and now I'm not so sure. <laughs> did I? Uh, right, let's cut the edges and then we'll see. I can always cut another one. I can always cut another one. I'm hanging on to that. It was just to see for shape, really. Ah. Could kind of have it sort of going that way then, can't we? So that it just gives a bit of texture behind. I know, and that you can't keep every scrap, otherwise you end up with, you know, um. Yeah, just too much, isn't it? Too much sometimes. It gets a bit overwhelming. Look at that, that's not do anything too busy. Polka dots behind there. I'm wondering if that's maybe too busy. I was thinking just white on white. Hmm. We just cut a white piece and then we'll see where we go. I think I might need to, I think you're right, Jen. The um it would be perfect for the adhesive backing because it would just stick beautifully. Um I just have that texture coming out from behind. I kind of like that. Let's trim it up and see. And then. Huh? I think, I'm not sure. Not sure, not sure. I think that bit needs to cut off. Hey Debbie, how are you? Good, I hope. Let's 
snip that. This is going to be like a bit of a haircut, isn't it? It's going to keep trimming and trimming. Uh, I like that actually. Just actually now, just taking those edges and it's just given a little texture behind but it doesn't look like the same lattice that we've die cut. Just by angling it and cutting those edges off, it looks um, a bit different. So let's stick that down. And we can do that by small dots on those edges because the card piece will really hold it in place so there's nothing there's no problem with glue there and that will hold it so I'm going to put that whole piece on dimensionals in fact I'm going to put it on a, a piece of adhesive sheet so you get these in the big sheets of dimensional and then that sit on there then we just need some sparkle don't we what shall we put on Jenna says, good luck gluing it. Uh, sparkle, sparkle, what should we have? So my, I've just got these and they are gorgeous. Have you seen these? These are iridescent pearls. Beautiful. So beautiful. So there's those as an option. Um, we've got... Oh, solid faceted gems. And there is some green in here, which would look nice. The dark and mossy meadow. I might go for that. Let's do that. I think that is nice. Just with the darker green. They almost look back black on the screen, actually. They are beautiful, Hazel. Honestly, they've got such a beautiful shine to them. So gorgeous. Um, let's put this on a car face. Should we pop it up on a black card base? I think it would pop, wouldn't it? That would look nice. Oh, just really stand out, won't it? Let's do that and then we can make another one. there just to stop that catching better so very happy and you could put so very happy for you so very happy have a happy birthday inside I think that could work for all sorts of occasions. Let's 
that's one done let's see what is next on the desk do you like that one mm. <laughs> so stop stop what no more gems no more cards <laughs> we don't want to see anymore <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I've left on the de these are the ones I've left on my desk so I've got happiness blooms from within everything is possible even the impossible I do like that one love that sentiment confidently in the direction of your dreams um today is your day that would make a lovely birthday card wouldn't it let maybe just through through that up a bit is that a word <laughs> no more tempting me oh. i'll stick to the memories and more cards that's it right i think i am gonna slice this i might regret it but It's only card. It's fine. It just feels a bit like, oh, chopping the only one that we've got. Um, I'm going to keep these pieces. Today's your day. Let's work with what about just stamping some flowers on the background so let's do mm, 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 we stick to the same color palette so if we do yellow with the daffodil that is the yellow coral daffodil delight and calypso coral and we'll do yellow. Oh. And Calypso. So we can go into the centre. What I might do is just give this a clean between because if I'm going to do coral and then keep going back into the yellow, I'm going to take my coral ink into my yellow and I don't really want to do that. Um, so I do want to give this a little clean um, between each stamping. I didn't, my chamois are on my desk, but they're um, dry. I didn't. I forgot to put, put, run them under the tap before I started. That's okay. Can you kind of see where we're going? We'll kind of build up some flowers here. Could maybe do some coral flowers as well. Not sure. Maybe do some coral on the edges rather than the middle so we can mix and match it a little more. So keep just, I'm not sticking that down yet. I'm just going to keep placing that back in so that I can see where the flowers are going. It's beautiful, isn't it? This is in the same set. Oh, blob that. That's where a gem is going to go. That's what, three of those. And then maybe some leaves. So we want. Um, I 
itch. one on this edge here again more gems required for covering that up <laughs> um i'm gonna lift that up and so we could put some cut leaves coming out of that as well you could leave it really simple and flat um Let's uh, have a look. Mm. Oh, there's a nice stripe in these stickers. This is awesome. Oh, I love that. Love that. Can I have that under there? I'm just holding it in place because it's sticky, obviously, underneath. Uh, yeah, I really like that. I think, let me stick that on. It is quite autumnal, actually, kind of the, the way the colours have pulled. Let's see if we can get that right on that edge. there awesome it's gonna go up on some dimensional I'm not going to peel that off just yet, but that will allow me just to sit that on there. Um, let me stamp out some extra leaves. And um, let's cut those. These are gorgeous leaves, actually. Nice shape. Like those. This would look lovely as like a, back, a full background, wouldn't it? really want some black twine but I've run out I might have to what can I pull in instead hmm. what have we got that we could use Some more flowers. Now, this one is sweet. Let's have a few more of these. That will be in the yellow. Oh, there you are. Genius. Black gingham ribbon sounds awesome. Yeah, I have got some of that. Yo. So the dyes also cut out the flowers that are in the paper, and the paper has flowers exactly the same as these. Um, I 
can show you those in a minute. They're um, really pretty. Hi. I know, Chris. I've run out. I've run out of black twine. Not twine. That that just that's not going to happen. I let it happen once and never again. <laughs> One time too many. Oh, white twine with a black blend. Oh, see, so clever. Andrew. Uh, let me see if we can pop that under there. There, I think we're kind of about there with the flowers and stuff. Um Stuff. Let's do uh, gingham. Pop. Kind of under there. Would be nice, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Right, let's get this stuck down. Oh, whoops. Let's peel that off. Bow is kind of upside down, really. Better that way. There in the middle. There. And let's pop these back under there. yellow flowers just peeking out under there and then this one under there cute 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 it does look a bit autumnal but I like it Let's find some bling to put on this one. That corner just needs a little dimensional, doesn't it? Needs something to pull it down. Just where the ribbon is kind of... Ah, oh, thanks, Grace. Uh, let me put that. There. Better. Some cute butterflies. I've got those butterflies, they'd look sweet. Hmm. What else? What else? Polish, we've got the brush, these adhesive. They're kind of autumn. It's kind of Thanksgiving, isn't it? Kind of like, um, yeah. Go on. Uh... Oh, I have a few. Look, I need to order some more of these. <laughs> these are the champagne rhinestones. These would be kind of cool. Just 
just pulling in more of that autumnal it kind of wasn't really going autumnal but it's ended up that way but I like it right let's stick with three and then uh, shall we put it on I'm going to put it on a white base oh thanks Stacy. Right, let's do white base and we'll do it. It's landscape, isn't it? So we'll cut that out. Ten and a half. And score at 14.8 if you're working in A4 cardstock. And let's put that on there. And Are we at nearly half nine? We're good. Let's put that on there. Today is your day. And I thought this piece could maybe sit inside, which would kind of tie it in, which would be nice. So let's. Pop that in there. And then just trim that edge off. It's kind of a bit overhang. And we're not wasting that bit of um memory the more. Um, doing the beautiful colours always. Oh, bless you. Thank you. There we are. So, um, no, Kathleen, in terms of classes, I haven't. I had meant to do it over this weekend, but it's been birthday season and our husband, our husband has his birthday on Wednesday. We had friends over on Saturday. So it's all been um, lovely. Lots of socialising, <laughs> lots of food and barbecue and all sorts of bits and pieces. But it has meant that I haven't got my class um classes listed for june and july but if you want to join for the hues of happiness online class next saturday evening um you are more than welcome to join us um for those who would like to book a class it's online only available now kits have gone out in the post um and my um super awesome fun time card kit with brian king um is closing this evening um in fairness i won't close it till tomorrow morning because um i will be going to bed so it'll be left open um while i sleep so if you are somewhere not in the uk um you've got until the rest of your day if you're in the states um you've got um your a bit of your monday morning if you're in the other parts of the world um but it will close tomorrow morning um over my breakfast so <laughs> Um, if you would like a kit for that, um, that is now is open um, for booking and it's going to be using the Sun Prince bundle, um, which is beautiful. It's all the blues and the grey granite is stunning. Um, so, yeah, there you go. That is the second card. We've got time for another one. It's half nine. How are people feeling? There we go. It's two in the same colourway. I should probably, I know I'm probably tempting you with another one, but um, I should probably get myself sorted for my work week. But um, these cards are too pretty. Um, mm -mm. What other one could we do? Hazel says, I'm good till midnight. Hazel says, yes, please. I know. What about the black and white, that one? That's nice. That could tie in, couldn't it? Could have that one with some, the other flowers from the True Beauty on it. I haven't used the framed occasions at all. I've just used the True Beauty. Uh...
yeah I think that one's on my desk let's use that one rather than do an hour over or I've got this wreath one but um that's just going to have some flowers popped on it we could use the framed actually we could use the framed occasion maybe and just put some flowers on that one That might be. <laughs> Chance says two is plenty time for Emma. <laughs> Let's do this one quickly because I think this one will come together very quickly. Let's pop this. Let's cut this one onto a card base. Um, I'm going to trim this down to 14 and a half. I didn't cut anything off the sides of that. It is um, four inches wide and I haven't cut anything off the side. And I've just cut a little bit off the top and bottom. It might sit better on a black base, actually. Let me do black. Yes. Let's glue that onto there and then we can, oh no, I might stamp it first. Let's stamp it first. All right. Wishing you the best day ever. Will fit perfectly in there. Um, wreath card, I know, I can't resist a wreath. Can't resist a wreath. Um, if anything's going to keep me crafting, it would be creating a pretty wreath card. Right. I'm wishing you the best day ever. I mean, that's pretty stunning as it is. That is the beauty of these cards. You could literally create something super quick and easy. Um, oh, that pet. Look at that on the back. Oh. Glue it fast, glue it fast. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Right, let's do this little flower. So this flower that I'm stamping is going to be from, or is from, the Framed Occasions. And I'm going to stick to the same colours, actually. I might bring in Pale Papaya as an extra colour. Um, and <laughs> yeah, I can see another pack coming, Andrea, right? Daffodil Delight and Pale Papaya. They are pretty, pretty colours. I'm not going to use all of these. I've just stamped a load out, but um, let's stamp out the Mint Macaron. Gosh, I haven't used mint macaron in a while. So this has got like an outline and an inset stamp. Hmm. I think that needs to be stamped off. Oh my goodness, I just had that stamp. What done with it? Oh, there. Right, that's garden green. And then I'll stamp off mint macaron. That's pretty. Like that. And it 
is easier to do the line first and then infill. Um, it's not quite lined up, but it's good enough. Good enough. Let's snip, snip, snip. This doesn't have dyes with it, this one. aren't they pretty pretty like a little button I like this flower there's a dye similar to this one um, in shaded summer is that summer shadow shaded summer something like that that dye I've still got them out on my desk you could almost, I think, almost, almost die cut that out, actually. It doesn't quite line up. I did try it earlier when I was making a different card. And I tried die cutting and then stamping onto the die cut. It's not bad, but it isn't, it isn't a match. Uh, <laughs> Sandy says only Emma would commit to that much fussy cutting on a live. <laughs> I know I should do the whole and here's some I made earlier. But there's one of the retired punches would work. Yeah, I think it might. I think you'd get a decent cut around if you you know, if you struggle with cutting, if you you know, if your hands are sore or it's not your thing. Um or you could die cut the that other flower and, and put ink on it. Um, if you know what I mean. Or die cut out some pretty papers. Um, which is a, a very good idea that I've just had. I might cut some to mix and match in. <laughs> they are nice leaves, aren't they? I do like them. There's um, like a eucalyptus type leaf in this as well. And like just some little sprigs and stuff. Just pretty for one layer stamping or stamping like a little wreath or something. All right, let's, let's cut these out. So, uh, I'm not going to cut all the way down. And I'm sure you've heard my tips with fussy cutting before now. You do not need to cut at this speed. I do appreciate I cut quite fast. I'm conscious of being on the live and not keeping you waiting. Um, but um, holding the scissors in kind of middle and thumb finger definitely helps um, with stability and not trying to cut all the way to the lines. Leaving a white edge like a die cut would leave um, allows for um, it's a, a bit more forgiving. If you cut right up to the line, it's not so forgiving and looks a bit kind of snipped and can look a bit like like rough edges. You lose the cleanness of your stamped image if you cut right up to the lines. Um, and a bit like the dies, I haven't cut all the way into those because then it gets really fragile. Um, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> uh, uh, so those are pretty colours together. Totally inspired by the memories of more cards. Stampin' Up do that so well, giving us beautiful colour combinations on papers and in sweets. Um, it's nice to be inspired by those for 
our projects. It means we don't have to think of them. All right, last one. Let's see, now I had thought this die, this is in the shape, what they call it, I'm gonna just bring them in. This one, summer shadow dies, this one. But this die that looks very similar to this flower is in this set. So I thought maybe, what pattern can we put with this? Um, this one maybe. I'm gonna just cut a few of these and see if they look all right. Um, I'll just cut one or two because the wreath's not gonna hold loads. We don't want hundreds of flowers on here. Two uh, and a third one, nearly there. There we go. So that has given us some. Debbie says, I'm having trouble. I will have a think, Debbie, and I will come back to you. I'll pop something in the comments. Um, no, very similar. Bit bigger. Tiny bit bigger. Oh, not much in it. Right, let's stick these on. Just to add a pop of colour to the edge here. As I say, I'm not sure that I'm going to use all of these. Um, I think just two leaves will be fine. Or we could go all the way kind of around or split that. Do it like that's nice, isn't it? That might be nice. One, two, three. Then we can use more of our flowers. <laughs> uh, put that one with that one. See, there was a reason I cut three of those pattern papers. So one on each sprig. I can have one with mm. papaya, one with that one, one with that one, kind of there, maybe an odd one, maybe underneath, something like that. Let's chuck that yellow one up there. Yeah. Something like that will do. Let's stick those down. <laughs> Something like that. Let's move you in a little. Right, let's stick the leaves on first. So we'll have those going one, two, three. That already just kind of lifts the colour, doesn't it? And then we'll glue dots right, layer that together there Love a bit of flower arranging. <laughs> and oh, I want that one 
to be the yellow, I think. And then just chuck that underneath there. Wishing you the best day ever. Want a little bit of twine on that. Let's bring in some normal twine. It doesn't feel left out. <laughs> uh, and I do like using my glue dots, but I think I use, I feel like I do use glue dots, multi-purpose glue and dimensionals with equal amounts of love. I don't feel like I favour any one of them. I don't, if someone said to me, pick one adhesive to craft with, I think, I don't know. I don't think I could. Okay. We need some sparkle on there and then then we are done so what should we put on here shall we put on um, what about um, what about what about I've got um, they're all a bit the pool party ones look quite nice don't they pulling in that uh, or black dots, matte black dots. Maybe just some extra black dots that kind of pull the black. In from that dotty wreath, I like that. Good, there we go. Gems are on, embellishments are on. Right, let's bring those cards back in. We have, um, there we go. Deb says, thanks for these ideas, I'll try them all. Oh, brilliant, I'm so pleased to hear that. Right, we've got that one, which is our wreath. We've got the first one that we did. So this So Very Happy was a Memories and More card just to start off with. Um, and then we've got the Today is Your Day with the gingham ribbon. They all go uh, all the same colour. I've just kept the same colour palette so that I'm not pulling loads of ink pads onto my desk. So Soft Succulent, Daffodil Delight, Calypso Coral um, and a touch of Pale Papaya. There you go. Um, if you've got these cards and if you've got that stamp set, we've got some other flowers that you can pull in. Um, I hope you do give them a go. Um, and if you do make them and you want to share your creations, then um, feel free, if you're on Facebook, come over to the Stamping Cove um, and you can share your creations. We do have um, stamping challenges each month and there are cards posted, um, but anything you're making can be shared in there at any time. Um, feel free to post your creations, whether they're inspired from this live or just things that you put on your desk. Um, we'd love to see them. Um, I will be back next Sunday with another live. Um, I hope you all have a great week. Um, I hope the weather is lovely for you. Um, and I will see um, those of you who are in my card and a couple group. I will see you on Friday morning. Have a great week, everyone. And I will see you soon. Bye.